In this video, we'll create a Docker container for a Deno app and we'll push it to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. So make sure first to have installed Deno and uh, I will simply copy this code. I'll create in an empty directory here a file app.ts and I will paste this code. So uh, this is uh, really simple. If we, we run this app, then uh, run app.ts. Uh, we need also to add the allow net flag. And as we can see, it's running on port 8000. So if we go here, localhost port 8000, we'll see hello world. So this is our Deno app that we will uh, push and uh, let's start now by creating a docker file. Make sure also you have docker installed in your machine. So this will be super simple. Uh, we need to come from Deno land, Deno. Uh, the latest version curle currently is uh, 1.11.0 and uh, we have to specify a working directory app and uh, then we'll copy everything uh, there. So uh, this command means uh, that uh, we'll copy uh, app.ts to this working directory. And uh, what is left is to simply run the command that we just ran before, which is uh, uh, we don't need to specify deno, but we will run. We'll add the flag allow net and the file is app.ts. And uh, that's it, super simple. Also, I will change something here. Uh, I want to serve it to port 8000, but I want to serve it to port 80. Uh, because uh, all our Docker containers will serve uh, on port 80 and it's uh, easier for me uh, for to combine these tutorials. But you can put uh, the port 8000, it's totally okay. Now that we have everything, let's run this uh, Docker file. First, we have to build it. So to build it, run docker, build. Uh, we want, we need the, the name of the uh, container. So you, we specify it by minus T and uh, we'll specify the name of the container to be app. And then we'll add a dot here, which means it is this context and it will select this docker file. So let's build uh, app. Now it is building. It will be fast once it's downloading everything. So it is completed. Now uh, we can push this container to the cloud. But before, let's test it again to our browser. And to test it, we have to run it. So docker run. This time we have to specify a port and uh, the backend port so the container port is 80, as we said. And in the front end, we can put 8888. Not in the front end, in our local host. And then we have to specify the name of our container. So this is a command to run this container to port 8888. So it's downloading again because uh, it's running inside the container and uh, not sure why it has this problem now. After I run it again, it uh, worked. Not sure why it failed uh, the first time. And uh, it says uh, localhost 80 here, but uh, that uh, is inside the Docker container. Uh, our localhost now 8000 8, won't work as we see, but uh, our Port now is 8888 and now we can see hello world. Now this hello world is running inside the Docker container and uh, that's it. We 
completed the Docker container for this Deno app. Now let's push it to the cloud. I'll also close uh, this uh, IDE because we don't need it anymore. So I'm logged into my Google Cloud platform now and uh, we, will, we will use two uh, services, container registry and cloud run. So let's go to the container registry and uh, before adding uh, anything here, we need uh, to install a Google Cloud SDK. So make sure to download the right installer. For macOS, you download it here. Also for Windows and Linux. And also make sure to add it to your path. Once it is completed, you can use gcloud. So uh, I ho already have uh, my gcloud configured. And now uh, let's uh, uh, log in first. So in order to push containers to the Google Cloud registry, we have to be logged in first. So gcloud auth login. So uh, this uh, will uh, connect with our Google Cloud account and uh, we will allow everything. And uh, now we are logged in. If we go to our uh, terminal, we will see this. So I'll clear now and uh, now we can uh, push our image to the Docker uh, registry, to the container registry, sorry. So first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag, the name of the image is app and uh, we will tag it to Google Cloud Registry. So gcr.io slash we need the project name. So if we go to our cloud platform, click uh, our project here and uh, this is my project name. So I'll copy this ID here and uh, I will add it here. So this is our project ID and then uh, we need the name of uh, our container. So this should be the same with uh, the last one. I tagged this and then we need to push it. So I'll remove this and we'll push it. And this will push the container to our Google Cloud platform. So let's wait till it's completed. So the image is pushed. Now uh, we will see the image here. So in the container registry, we have our app image. And uh, let's go here and let's copy the URL. So I'll copy the URL here because uh, we will need it. And uh, let's go to now to the cloud run. So here we need to create a service. We need the service name, I'll call it app, uh, the region, you can select your own region. Uh, we need the container image URL. So here we can select it directly and this is the container, the last container that we pushed. So I'll select this and this was uh, our container. We can add some advanced settings here like variable secrets, etc. But the only thing that we will change is uh, the port. So our container port is 80. So I'll put 80 here and we don't need to change anything else there. Next. So uh, we need to allow an uh, unauthenticated invocations. So this is public and that's it. So let's create this and let's wait till it's completed. So it should be fast. So it is completed. Not sure why I made a mistake here. Uh, the port was 76 here. It should be 80. And uh, we have uh, also a URL here. If we go to the URL, we will see our app deployed. So it was this simple. This is how we deploy an app to the Google Cloud Run. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.